हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर अमरप्रीत कौर लेक्चरर फ्रॉम जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट हाउ आर यू होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग वेरी वेल हेयर आई एम विथ माई थर्ड लेक्चर डैट इज किंगडम सिस्टम्स ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन सो आई विल लाइक टू स्टार्ट विथ टू किंगडम क्लासिफिकेशन सिस्टम इट वॉज गिवन बाई कार्लस लीनियस कार्लस लीनियस वॉज द फर्स्ट पर्सन हु क्लासिफाइड लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स इन टू टू किंगडम्स वन वॉज किंगडम प्लांटिया एंड अदर वॉज किंगडम एनिमिलिया क्लियर किंगडम प्लांटिया एंड किंगडम एनिमिलिया He classified all the living organisms on the basis of some characters. For example, cell wall, locomotion, mode of nutrition, response to external stimulus. Fifth character was contractile system. Okay, cell wall. The first character. it is present in kingdom plantia while it is absent in animalia locomotion it is certainly absent in kingdom plantia and present in kingdom animalia third one mode of nutrition in kingdom plantia they are autotrophs so they don't need to eat while animals they are dependent on plants they don't synthesize their own food third one for, sorry fourth one is response to external stimulus while plants they are slow and animals they are fast contact trial vacuole it is absent in kingdom plantia and present in kingdom animalia two kingdom classification system is having some demerits as it cannot distinguish between unicellular and multicellular organisms also it cannot distinguish between eukaryotes and prokaryotes this system was also unable to differentiate between photosynthetic green algae and non photosynthetic fungi organisms okay this was about two kingdom classification system but there are few living organisms like euglena chlamydomonas and slime molds they share characters of both animals and plants so a need arised to create a different kingdom to fit these organisms so three kingdom classification system was arised and it was suggested by hackel ernest hackel ernest hackel introduced third kingdom that was kingdom protista it included all unicellular microorganisms for example fungi protozoa algae bacteria and slime molds okay they were mostly aquatic eukaryotes so now we have three kingdoms uh kingdom plantia kingdom protista and kingdom animalia three kingdom classification system it was given by hackel to include some uh, unicellular aquatic eukaryotes now four kingdom classification system it was given by coupland to include prokaryotic organisms like eu bacteria cyanobacteria and archaea bacteria so the four kingdom classification was arised okay now rh whitaker in year 1969 he proposed five kingdom classification 
he divided all the living organisms into five kingdoms kingdom monera kingdom protista kingdom fungi kingdom plantia and kingdom animalia on the basis of certain criteria the first criteria was cell structure second was thallus organization third was mode of nutrition fourth was reproduction and fifth was phylogenetic or you can say evolutionary relationship in cell structure which is the first criteria either the plants are prokaryotes or eukaryotes i guess these terms are very clear to you for those who have any confusion in it i will explain in prokaryotes they don't have membrane bounded cell organelles like they lack nucleus nucleus a true nucleus and also mitochondria and chloroplast while eukaryotes it contains all the membrane bounded cell organelles and it is having true nucleus that is why it is known as eukaryotes means true carrion carrion is related to nucleus eukaryotes means having organisms those having the true nucleus second character thallus organization means the body is either differentiated into root stem and leaves or it is not okay for example we have algae it is not differentiated into root stem and leaves so we say it thallus okay the third is mode of nutrition either plants are autotrophs or they are heterotrophs right now i will discuss all these characters are they present in in a certain um, kingdoms or they are absent firstly cell type in monera it is prokaryotes in kingdom protista it is eukaryotes in kingdom fungi it is eukaryotic plantia eukaryotic and in kingdom animalia it is eukaryotic cell wall the second ca- character it is non cellulosic and mainly made of polysaccharide plus some amino acids it is present in kingdom monera also present in uh, kingdom protista it is also present in fungi but without cellulose in plantia it is present and having cellulose while in animalia it is absent the third one is nuclear membrane okay it is absent in kingdom monera present in kingdom protista and in fungi plantia and kingdom animalia nuclear membrane is present body organization it is cellular in kingdom monera also in kingdom protista while in kingdom fungi it is multicellular or loose tissue and uh, in kingdom plantia it is uh, certainly multicellular and also in animalia multicellular so we are having the two kingdoms kingdom uh, monera and kingdom protista which are having the cellular uh, system they don't um, uh, the cells don't aggregate to form tissues clear third one is the mode of nutrition in kingdom uh, monera it is autotrophic sometimes chemosynthetic and photosynthetic and also um some heterotrophs are also found in this um, kingdom so we have three 
modes of nutrition in kingdom monera the first is autotrophic second is heterotrophic which includes saprophytic as well as parasitic in kingdom protista we have autotrophic that is mainly by photosynthesis and the second one is heterotrophic in fungi fungi are exclusively heterotrophs either saprophytic or parasitic saprophytes are those who get their nutrition by absorbing or by feeding on dead or decayed organisms or they are parasites dependent on food on other living organisms kingdom plantia the mode of nutrition is autotrophic while in kingdom animalia it is heterotrophic so with this we have completed the kingdom classification system finally we will start with a new chapter thank you for listening in case you have missed any of the lecture you can go to my website that is amarpreetkaur.com a m a r p r w e t k o u r dot com and download lectures from there